Hello everyone. I wanted to give you some progress on this voxel creation kit where we can create whatever voxels we want to create. And I wanted to show you how much further I've gotten. So you can see that we can still create voxels of any, you know, any rounded shape we want and then we can still deround them by uh, by putting in some invisible voxels. But we've also got a palette in the upper right, which means we can place other kinds and other colors of voxels. So for example, I'll put a black voxel here, and then I'll cap it off, and we'll have a little nice little round black area. But one of the things you may have noticed is that this third slot has a lot of different colors in it. It's not just a single color voxel. Hmm, isn't that kind of an interesting thing to have happen? Each of these faces is a different color. That's because these palettes don't have to be a single color. Why would you want them to be? I mean, you can make them a single color, and that's often useful, but you'll often want them to be some mul multiple colors. For example, what if you were building a TV screen, and you wouldn't want the front of the TV to be the same color as the top of the TV. So you'd want to have different color faces and different textures. I haven't gotten quite that far yet. But the palette, which isn't editable at the moment but will be soon, can have whatever colors on every face that you want it to have. And that means that you have a lot of freedom when it comes to creating this kind of, uh, of portrait. So you have a few voxels, and they're stored as bytes. And, uh, and the end result can be an extremely colorful and complicated object that gets put straight into the game world. I'm looking forward to it.